channel Whew, girl it is hot I'm just getting out the door me and Brianna I got Brianna with me today girls try to tell me about my lighting child y'all know I'll be struggling sometimes with this lighting honey. nah I think that's it but um today I got Brianna around with me I keep a grandchild with me all the time like all the time when one go, oh my, my umbrella. When one goes, another one comes. Huh? What my what? My. I don't know. I can't understand what she be saying sometimes. What, Bri? In the What's in the house? My umbrella. Yup. I think it's one in the back though. But girl, so we are going to a birthday party to my first cousin's daughter's birthday party. Oh my god, look at all them vultures up there. Why are so many vultures on this house right here flying over? It's two big two big ones sitting on the top of the house. And then it's three just circling the top of the house. I'm mean, just circling around the top. They like, they vultures, yeah. That's an odd sight to see. Here's another one coming. And they're just like going in a circle around and around. I know y'all don't care about this. It's just odd to see, chat. Girl, that is just the oddest sight to see those vultures just circling that house and they're just like in that area, just like right over the house is circling. I just never seen that. And they are huge vultures. But uh, we're getting ready to go to a birthday party. My first cousin, daughter's birthday party. And y'all know I don't like birthday parties, but I gotta go. And then tomorrow is my nephew's birthday party that I gotta go to. And it's almost like, it is like once you start going to these parties, woohoo, that is bright. That once you start going to these parties, you gotta keep on going for the year. Like it's almost like, girl, I can't not. It's almost like if you, my mom sometimes she won't go to none at the beginning of the year, so she ain't got to it. Her whole thing all year is, well, I didn't go to this, so I can't go to that. I didn't go to this, so I can't go. That's her thing. Girl, I might take a page out of that book next year because I, I mean, I don't know. I do enjoy time with family and stuff like that, but I just don't like birthday parties. Like, birthday parties, weddings, and baby showers are not my thing. If you've been rocking with me for a while, then you know that. I tell y'all, every time I'm going to one, it is not my thing, honey, at all. My sinuses feel like they're trying to act up again. I really don't know if I'm like, Girl, I don't know. But that's what it feels like again. But um girl, let me tell you, I so I love plants. Like, I don't know if you know that about me. I never really talk about my plants, but I do love plants and I mean I've had some plants that I've had I got one plant that I've had for ten years, eleven years, because I got it with my grandma passed. And I got, you know, a few other plants that I've had some years. And so recently I have, when my son passed, I got so many plants, the flowers, like y'all really real, for real, like as far as like, you know, like um, flowers that people deliver to you and, and, and vases or vases or how people, oh Lord. Girl, I'm glad I saw that right there to not get on that belt line, honey. Woohoo! Thank you, Jesus. So I just have to go to Country Roads, girl. I don't play that belt line when it is back. It's backed up all the way here. I don't even fool trying to get on it. And I can see it when I cross over right there. But when my son passed, I got so... Y'all, listen. Like, seriously. I probably got about 30 vases, like, of flowers. Like, so I had, like, 30 vases. So I got all those vases sitting around. And I, and I am... I, 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 I need to recycle. I'm probably taking them to Goodwill or something like that. But you know what, I could collect. So, let me, okay. So as far as like floor plants and stuff, I probably had about 10 of those. I really had almost about 50 flowers. Like that's not even including the flowers that were at the funeral home that, that they took to the grave site and left at the grave site. 
I had so many flowers. I have just never, like, it was just amazing, like, at the love and the outpour. So I said all that to say, so I had a lot of flowers. I gave my daughter some. I gave my sister, my niece. I was just giving away flowers because I had so many flowers. But with that said, I was left with a lot of flowers, even after I gave so many flowers away. And so what I have started to do is I'm going to place them all throughout the house. I got some outside on the porch that are doing great, which I had some that I had already had. Like I said, I, I so many flowers. So I really have too many probably to keep. Um, my, my husband, Nick, I hope next year, because he's supposed to get the permits and stuff, I will have me a dedicated sunroom. And I am so excited. Can hardly wait, girl. I am ready for my sunroom, honey. So I have a dedicated sunroom. But in the meantime, I'm still going to get rid of some. So like all the ones I got on the porch, I told my daughter as the summer, and we only got it like a couple more months, when it winds down, I'm going to give her some flowers. And I had a, a huge peace lily that somebody gave me. When my son passed it is humongous and it's so big that I, it's, it just takes over and I don't have my daughter has like a real big old she has three levels to her condo but on her second level she has just like a big old open concept you know space if I had my son room that I would put I would keep it and put it in there I might get it back afterwards but um I just don't have room for it so I'm gonna let her get that and then I got some more flowers that are the running plants I almost want to put them up in the house but girl I hate to put them holes in my ceiling I, I know that's what you're supposed to do but I just don't want to put the holes in my ceiling and those plants have just taken off and just gone crazy so what I've been doing is I cut I cut them some and I make other flowers so I've given Brian some girl I am the flower woman I'm telling you but I enjoy doing that so um but they're the running plants and I so I was telling the kids I was like you know back in our day honey when a woman do you remember like when a woman would come to your house and you had the running plants and they'd be like give me a piece of that plant girl I, like as a little girl I remember people telling my grandma well man give me a piece of that plant girl grandma would go in there cut that plant put it in some um wet the paper towel put it in a paper towel or either put it in a jar and give it to them to take home girl or you keep that paper towel keep that paper towel wet or something till you get home then when you get home you put it in the water and once it start rooting you take it off from there you know what I'm saying you plant it so I have um this year gotten into doing that some even Brian was like mom can I have a plant yeah Brian here take this plant so now I give them plants and my sister was like she wants some pieces so right now I have some in some jars that are um, I'm trying to get the root so that I can you know create other flowers and that's just because those plants are so huge like they're so long um, I think they're called pothos I believe that I have that are just they have just taken over they are humongous and I leave them in the summertime when it starts to get warm I put them out on the porch and honey I leave them out there all summer and they go absolutely crazy so I got some snake plants out there I mean like I just have so many plants that I uh, I'm trying to hold on to all of them till I get my sunroom because because we're gonna expand the sunroom we're gonna create a sunroom then we will expand the living room and the kitchen so I'll have like so many places I just love plants um they bring a smile to your face i'm not a big flower person so to have about 30 some flowers in my house i have flowers sitting around everywhere it was like oh my god it was like a a, a, a nursery in there that's how many flowers i had not including the plants just flowers so um so i uh so yeah but i'm a big plant person and so I've been fooling with my plants lately because it's like calming when you are fooling with your plants so what I decided to do is because you know like it's so many of them it seems like I'm watering something all the time because I don't water all of them at the same time because they may not all need watering so what I've done is I, I put a big cooler on my back porch 
I set some things out because I want to collect rainwater to actually use to water my plants. So I got a big old cooler out there. I'm gonna close it up <laughs> once the water get in and stuff. And then <laughs> I set some other things out, but I just want to collect rainwater to water my plants with. And that's saving my water too, chat. But, um, so what are some of your hobbies? Like, sometimes in life you just gotta find things to keep you busy and stuff like that. So that is one of the things I have really began to enjoy. But girl, let me tell you something. It's like I have found myself again. Like, I cannot explain to you how how much I felt like I had lost myself. And I have just I have just begun to find myself again, you know. And that's why I'm even like changing up my clothing, like the way I dress. I told y'all getting just getting dressed every day is like so important to me because I feel better when I get dressed. I had a moment this morning I was thinking about my son and just oh my god, I broke down, but I had to pull it together. It's like I really be trying to pull it together. It's so crazy because I try not to think about him, but then it hurts to try not to. It hurt me the fact that I'm trying not to think about him. Then when I think about him, it hurts so much. So it's just like really just finding a balance right now and just finding that balance right now. But we had last night, we had our family night, and I did take a little bit of footage of, you know, like some grown folk conversation, well, not just grown folk conversation, but the kids versus the adults. And it's amazing sometimes how kids' minds operate. And a lot of the times, I have found since I was older that I want to hear what they're thinking, what they're saying, what's on their mind. Girl, that was my husband. This traffic off the chain today, they working on the belt line. He was calling and tell me, do not get on the belt line. I was like, oh, you don't have to worry about that, honey. I already seen that. But, um, yeah, sometimes I, a lot of times I let kids have their say, have the, you know, because I think it's important to know what they're feeling and what they're thinking and what's on their mind. So with two, it was interesting to see her thoughts because her thoughts are, are are valid somewhat but she needs to understand needed to understand why I may have those conversations with her mother and you know as far as me trying to get them to understand that growing up I just that incident with my friend actually shaped how I what I do with my kids um as kids, we were always safe because, and I know a lot of times this didn't matter for other kids, but because we were a small family at the time, it was me, my mom, my uncle, my aunt, and my grandma. And my aunt didn't work. She kept us all the time. My aunt was stay at home, basically. And so we all stayed in the same house. So we probably were, so I was probably like 11, probably about, no, about 11 or 12, about 11 or 12. So we all stayed in the same house and my aunt was responsible for keeping us. So my aunt cooked for us. She kept us. And see, we lived in the country down the dirt road. So honestly, we, and, and it was so, it was a good distance from the next house from us. So we only played with one another. We didn't play with other kids. Unless we went, like, to our family, like, our cousins' houses or something like that. I mean, no, we did do a lot of that visiting. But, so, I will say, a lot of times that we were protected. Um, because we didn't, we weren't allowed to just spend the night with people, like, talking about. We never... We never really spend the night with people. Um, we stay home most of the time. But I like to let children have they, their say. I, because if you shut them down, then a lot of times they're walking around with things on their mind that they're not going to talk to you about because you won't. they feel like you won't listen. So they think I'm, that, you know, the kids like to say I'm so easy to talk to. I am, but I'm still going to ultimately... And sometimes you'd be surprised because sometimes you'll see things differently 
when they tell you how they feel so then sometimes i might adjust my thinking somewhat or i might because you know what is amazing to me how accepting this generation is like to the generation like to this generation um my my cousins because they're like 16 17 to this 14 how accepting they are of kids that are 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 gay gay homosexuals or whatever it's almost like and i they and i say that in a sense of they're accepting because they don't discriminate against them they're fine with it and they're just because you know oftentimes we, we talk about it and you know they may say stuff like you know they're fine they don't care as long as people don't come on to them or try to talk to them or what have you and I just think it's so good to see that they are so open um, about stuff like that. I have my own thoughts about it, but I do have, I have some girlfriends that we are extremely close and they are gay. Um, one of them is married to another woman. I don't often talk about how I feel about either one because honestly I feel like people are just people and people are, are who they are they love who they love and who am I to judge you know what I'm saying like I love my friends in spite of like and my one girlfriend that is married to another woman her spouse and I we're just okay we don't we're not like the best of we're not like me and my girlfriend. And that's solely because I kind of feel, me myself, that my girlfriend, now they've been together like 20 some years. But I also just sometimes feel like, and she's, she doesn't watch my videos, so I can really talk about it. I just feel like sometimes that she does not, she's not being her best her. Like she's not, you know, like, living her best life or something is holding her back and it's not just because her spouse happens to be a woman it's just who her spouse it's just her spouse because if it was a man and I felt the same way it would be the same way you know what I'm saying so I don't really I don't I mean people could do what they want to do that's just how I feel about this how I look at it people love who they love they be what they want to be they do what they want to do um yeah so <laughs> I mean that's just what it is and I don't know and my friends I love my friends in spite of and I girl I don't care one of them she wide open she is a I, I she kind of sometimes I wish she would calm down because she just do too much you know, as a gay woman, she's like a, a a dude or something, but she get on my nerves. Like, I mean, she does. Like, I love her so much, but she annoys the crap out of me, like for real. But anyway, but I so so having conversations with with the girls and the kids these days, um, it's nice to see that they're just so open about it and that people are who they are and they don't care and you know different little stuff like that. Um, and yeah, I mean, you know, it's cool to see that they could just be like that. I don't know, like, I think sometimes even as children of God, you know, saints, saved Christians or whatever, you can't really get caught up into judging other people's lifestyles and stuff like that. Now, if somebody asks me a question, I, I always, I always will refer to God's word, to the Bible. And I feel like as long as you as long as you do that, like with anything in life, and that's with anything, because even when I'm talking to the kids, I'm telling them what does says the Lord. And I have to remind myself sometimes about what does says the Lord. So that I don't as well get caught up into judging people or um, you know, just I mean Sin is sin. There's no one sin better or greater than another sin. And I mean, so I so I do if somebody asks me something, because I am a believer, I will tell them, you know, what 
the Bible says. And sometimes people ask me questions, and I'm not talking about homosexual, I don't tell you anything like that, but I mean, if they ask me, I'm going to tell them, but there's sometimes people ask me questions that I have to pray about. Like, I can't answer them right now, and I'll tell them, look, I can't answer that right now. Let me pray about it, because my girlfriend's you know, I mean, just people in general have asked me questions. And you can't always go off of your feelings, your thoughts, and what you think about things, period. You need to, sometimes you need to go in prayer to God about the answer for people. And sometimes God, like, or sometimes God will give it to you right then. But if you don't have, if you don't have something, and I would say some, it, some answers require an answer from the Lord. So, and that's how you stay out of your feelings and your thoughts. So sometimes you just have to pray about it. And I got that from my grandma because my grandma used to always, I mean, like, sometimes I would ask her something and she'd be like, and I need to pray about that. And I'd be like, okay. I mean, you know, but I, I understand, like, it's so crazy how we, I talk about my grandma all the time, y'all, because I spent so much time with my grandmother, like, I stayed with my mom from, we moved out of my grandma's house probably when I was like 12. So I stayed with my, my mom until probably about 16, 15, 16, about, I think I was 16. I might have been 16. And I moved back with my grandma. And I had been with my grandma ever since. Like, I saw my mom and I, I, I would go see my mom and stuff. I moved out, I got my own place when I was like 19. That's how I can kind of tell them kids, girl, take your time, honey. And 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 take your time. Which I had kids, so I needed to get out. You know, I needed my space. But at the same time, take your time. Don't rush out that house. That's why I try to tell Demarcus, my younger son, because he was so in a hurry to get out and now as he's you know as he's grown he's like man that's his thing the kids now is yo don't rush to get out of the house but but i so i talk so i spent so much time with my grandmother and like even when my mom lived in raleigh she still lived in raleigh so even when i moved out from my grandma i lived in fuquay but i saw my grandmother every single day day because my grandma was working up until grandma worked a long time let me tell you something my grandma i never really realized how old y'all have heard me say this before for those of you that have been with me for a long time i never realized how old my grandmother had gotten until one day i took her to the doctor and she was like 81 so my grandmother lived a life and i'm talking about margaret but my grandma has always been saved I've all, I mean, not all, you know what I'm saying, but I've always known her to be saved. And that's what I knew of her. So, with, with grandma, I, my grandma was so wise and, and, and we just talked like so much to sit at her feet and absorb the wisdom that she gave was just, it's, I thought you were saying, why my neck hurt, girl? was just amazing like i love sitting at my grandmother's feet and just listen to her talk listen to her tell stories kids don't the kids don't do that anymore and i miss it so bad y'all i'm gonna tell you the truth like sometimes i really feel that i feel alone because of the fact I, when my grandma passed, my grandma's been gone for 11 years, but she was such of an important part of my life that I miss so much the, the wisdom, the blessings, you know, and the kids today, you can't get them interested enough to listen, to, to sit at your feet so that they can gain knowledge and understanding about things. And I tell you, like, it's just amazing. Like, I, I, I miss it so much. And sometimes it's like you don't, it's just no more mothers out there like that. No more mothers, no more grandmothers. And I try to it's still, you know, like I get up, I cook every morning for my grandkids when they when I when they're with me. I cook every morning because my grandma, she used to cook for my kids like every morning, and I'd be like, and when they would come home, cause my grandma would keep them sometimes through the week. And girl, when they would come home, I'm just like, 
they didn't want no cereal. And I worked like I worked like second, third, or third shift. So sometimes girl, I'd be not out in the morning child. They be sitting there waiting for some breakfast. And I'm like, look at here now. She said, I'm tired. I'm sleepy. <laughs> I'll be ready to go to sleep. My niece live right there. That's the house my husband built for her. But girl, I'll be tired. I'll be ready to go to sleep, honey. And my and my grand my, and my kids be ready to eat food. So I try to be, you know, it's like certain things, some things, so many things I try to instill into my grandkids. It's a little bit tougher because kids these days are just not like we were. They are so, like, when kids come to my house, I really don't let them play with, like, Zoe age and Brianna age. Um, I do have some grandkids that are small, like, they, they are, they're three. So I have some three, I have... <laughs> I have two three-year-olds, a four and a five, two fives. I have four two fives. Girl, yeah, I got some young grandkids. So when they come to my house, they don't be sitting. They're not allowed to have electronics all day. Like, I don't play that. I let them paint. Um, I let them do a lot of stuff, but we just don't. I do not allow them to have... Um, phones and iPads and stuff like that like Zoe can only use her iPad a few times a day like or at night when it's time to go to sleep sometimes I let her get it but you know those are the things that parents I find these days don't do that you have to do really you have to take you know phones and iPads and things like that I let them paint now I'll go buy paint crayons girl all that kind of stuff they can get any of that for me because it's so important to me is this where i need to go girl i ain't been to my cousin house and it's sad yeah this is it i ain't been to my cousin house in so long i know i should be ashamed of myself but i should i mean we just but we we are right now we are right now sometimes things happen deaths and things like that happen in the family for you to get yourself together, you know, get things together. And my family were so close. And I'm talking about my mom, um, sister, kids. And I don't know. It's like we just kind of drifted apart for a couple years. And it seemed like we tried to get it back together. We couldn't get it back together. And really, I couldn't figure out what had happened, to be honest. We, we couldn't. You know, we couldn't. And it would be sometimes I would cry because I'm just like, I don't understand what happened. But all good um yeah Whew. but anywho let me go on in here girl it's being good thank you for riding with your girl it's been good and i'm gonna holler back at you in the next video bye girl